Let's move on now with our awards to Original Interactive and Learning Secondary. Nice title. Right, to present them both, we have a rapper, a comedian, an actor, a screenwriter, all rolled into one. That is some kind of talent, isn't it? As the star of the BAFTA-nominated BBC show Four O'Clock Club, he plays a teacher. So pay attention, please. Oh, my goodness, it works. This guy is so versatile. He's an incredibly talented performer. It will not be long, trust me, before he is up here picking up one of these awards. Please welcome to the stage, Doc Brown. Yep, that's right. Uh, Reggie Yates was busy. Um, so, <laughs> I am here... Instead, to talk about this uh, amazing first award, uh, basically, from, from saving someone's life to sneaking up on your iPad, adopting a monster, or teaching one to read, the inventive minds behind these four nominees have kept children entertained this year. And the nominations for original interactive are as follows Original interactive. Life saving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to take over the CPR in three, two, one. Right. 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 Thank you so much. Oh, it's okay. Moshi Monsters. You can adopt your very own monster. Build the ultimate Moshin collection. Customize your monster, make new friends, and check out the latest Moshi music video. Bizarre. And you sneak. The aim of this game is to take the best snap of the beasties lured out by the bait in your trap. Silently sneak. Teach your monster to read first steps. Take your monster on an adventure through a magical world, meeting the colorful island kings along the way. Wave goodbye to the island. And the BAFTA goes to Moshi Monsters. Michael Acton Smith, Steve Cleverly, and Davinia Knowles. Wow. Um, thanks very much, everybody. Uh, this is the first year we've uh, not bought a table here, and we go and win, which is a, a bit annoying, cause, so you have to put up with me. Um, Moshi Monsters is a massive collective effort, so big props to everybody who works on the web team and to um, our illustrious leader, Michael Axon smith who can't be with us tonight. And uh, prepare to get your gooberies well and truly twisted on December the 20th when Moshi Monsters the movie comes to a cinema near you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Movie. <laughs> um. <laughs> as uh, as a father, as a father of of two children, I I can't tell you how special it is uh, not to be looking after them tonight, and how <laughs> and how important and how much the uh, the next nominees could uh, could bring to my kids in the future. Uh, so the nominees uh, of the uh, learning secondary, these guys excelled in the challenge of taking on some of the more complicated and difficult issues facing children today. Uh, this, this, is, this stuff's amazing. And the nominees are... Learning secondary. 
the Imagineers. Chemotherapy has been used to treat cancer. Drugs that attack cancer cells are injected or swallowed, but because they are very toxic, they can also cause unpleasant side effects. So is there a way that you can use drugs to just target the cancer cells without harming the rest of your body? Just a few drinks. It's like everything you imagine it to be like when you're absolutely drunk off your face and it's not a nice thing at all. It was a nightmare because the whole, the whole party was just spinning around my head. The liver can only break down one unit per hour. Later, youngers three. I'm really sorry about what happened last night. He's showing them my photo. Well, of course not. It's, it's, it's just being silly. Why do you have to do what they do anyway? I'm not like them, Shanice. Real talk, they're just waste men. I really do like you. Do you? Yeah. Romeo and Juliet in performance. The approach of Romeo and Juliet encourages both critical and creative thinking and is structured into four sections. Focusing on different interpretations of Act 2, Scene 3, students are provided with this scene from the four feature films which have been made of the play. And the BAFTA goes to just a few drinks. Harvey Wolf, Dominic Sant, and Tristan Anderson. Big. That's pretty special. Wow. Um, so, uh, first, I'd like to thank the four contributors who let us share their story with us. You know, it's, it's not the easiest thing to turn a, uh, a negative story that a young person goes through and turn it into something positive. Um, I'd like to thank Katie Jones for the BBC. Uh, personally, I'd like to thank uh, my girlfriend. Uh, you are the one. My mum and dad, thank you for everything words can't describe and uh, the Dock Heads family. Uh, if you don't know who they are, Google them. <laughs> and these two guys next to me. Uh, brilliant. I, I just want to say thank you very much. The one line we have written this evening is that you wait 22 years for a BAFTA and you win two in 20 minutes. <laughs> so it's a brilliant night for us tonight and thank you. <laughs> just, just finally, we are a team and uh, the three of us up here wouldn't be here without the work of Celia, with Katie, with James, with Rhonda. You know, there's a, a Nick uh, who's uh, currently in Africa, and we are a really team uh, a, at Evans Wolf, and um, this is for all of their hard work as well. Thank you. There you go. Good things come to those who wait. Right, next up, it's comedy. And to present it, we have a young star who captured the heart of the nation earlier this year as a finalist on Britain's Got Talent, delivering those witty one-liners, taking on Simon Cowell. It was a good watch, wasn't it? He's also now taken to acting. He's playing the part of government minister, Mr. Frazenagel in the Ministry of Curious Stuff. All this, and he's only 15. How to make a man feel past his best. Please give a very warm welcome to the extremely talented Jack Carroll. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you still see me over this thing? I, I think, like, I'm, I'm peering out. It's all right. I'm, I'm lazy and I need to sit down. Um, so, um, they've, they've asked me to come and do the comedy award. Uh, and I know how hard it is, right, to do comedy, because I had to try and make Simon Cowell laugh, which, if I'm being honest, with the amount of work he's had done, is... Uh, <laughs> It's, you know, it's, uh, it's no mean feat. No, um, there's definitely been some brilliant, uh, brilliant comedy and there's some brilliant comedy uh, next year uh, to, to come, if they'll let me on. Um, <laughs> that, that, is, that is a joke and also a genuine plea. Um, <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, 
the, the nominations are... Comedy. DNN. Comic book characters such as Superman, Spider-Man, and Wonder Woman are inspiring more and more ordinary people to become real-life superheroes. Ah, I see. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a big spinning graphic! Fit. Brian Butterfield Sports Warehouse. Our fully trained staff are on hand 24 hours, spread over seven weeks, to cater for all your sporting needs. Can I have a football, please? Sorry, we don't sell footballs. Hacker time. Do you have laminate flooring or do you prefer a vinyl finish? You should ask me something about tennis, not about my floor. But I don't know a thing about tennis, Sue. But that's what this quiz is all about. I don't know what I'm doing, Sue. I'm not all there. <laughs> Horrible histories. We Vikings have an awful reputation with your nation. But when we'd finished plundering and pillages, made nice villages. And the BAFTA goes to Horrible Histories. Thank you very much. Um, Woo! Let me Come on, uh, Somebody I was working with recently said that ADs never get thanked at these things, so I'd like to thank the ADs and the BCs and all of the years you get that joke there. <laughs> um, it's been an amazing five years. Um, and I'd like to thank Lion Television and Richard Bradley for bringing us on board in the first place. I'd like to thank Dominic Brigstock and Giles Pilbro for being fantastic colleagues at Citrus. I'd like to thank Imogen Cooper for doing all the real work. <laughs> I'd like to thank the most amazing cast in children's television, I think. I'd like to thank a fantastic production team who I take on to all my other jobs so they know how much I like them. <laughs> and I'd really like to thank all the fans out there, all the people who have supported us because you're amazing and we couldn't do it without you. Thank you very much. Thank you to Jack, well done to Horrible Histories. It's a shame we've now got a half-empty room for the rest of the awards, isn't it? <laughs> Just give them five minutes to get through a door that wide behind the stage. OK, right, let's move on, because preschool animation is next, and this is an award for people... Yeah, I know. I was excited about this one too when I woke up this morning. This is an award for people with a very limited attention span. So to present it, please welcome two stars from TOWIE. Now, I'm not going to embarrass them by doing an impression, because that would be totes inappropriate. Ladies and gentlemen, please gasp in amazement that in the middle of November you can get such a cracking tan all the way from Essex. Please put your hands together for Fern McCann and Lewis Bloor. Thank you, Jake, and uh, good evening, everybody. Thanks for that, Jake, by the way. Pleasure. With the limited attention span of preschoolers, any television programme that hopes to attract and hold their attention had better be good. 
Whether it's uh, pigs jumping in muddy puddles, a lamb going off to a nursery, a child playing with a duck, or creatures being rescued under the sea. This year's nominees have kept preschool aged kids entertained and amused all year. And the nominees are. Preschool animation. Octonauts. Captain, look, a tremor. And it's getting bigger. Wazzy, be careful. A big tremor is about to shake things up. Brace yourselves, everyone. Peppa Pig, Mr. Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. There we are! Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Sarah and Duck, a fairground. Um, where's our bench? I'm not sure. It's a lot shorter than everything else that's here now. Hmm. But I'm certain we'll be able to find it. Yes. Come on, Duck. Timmy time. BAFTA goes to Timmy Time. a bit of a surprise actually uh, we were in very good company and I really didn't expect us to get this but thank you so much BAFTA and massive thank yous to CBBS without whom we would never have made these two half-hour specials thank you um, big thank yous to Liz and David behind me who directed it <laughs> big cruise big cruise big thank you to the cruise as you all know a stop frame takes a long long time but we have massive fun making these two specials uh, and tonight, the one that's won the Seaside one, I have to say that all the water effects were done in studio, in camera, no CGI. Thank you. Well done to Timmy time, even though I do live in an octonaut's house myself. OK, now we move on to the BAFTA for short form. And to present this, we have a star in the making from this year's X Factor. This young lady used to work at a supermarket and would spend all day listening to the sound of the tills. Then she appeared on X Factor and we got to hear her voice. Now, we should actually be, ladies and gentlemen, quite glad that she's here this evening because quite genuinely, her taxi took her to a different hotel for the Hairdresser of the Year Awards. <laughs> yeah, she made it on time, thank goodness. Please welcome to the stage. It's true, Abby Alton. Hello everybody, it's an absolute pleasure and an honour to be here this evening. The nominees in this category include Big Ideas, Cardboard Boxes, Story Sharing and Teenage Spies. A pretty varied bunch, but the one thing they do have in common is they are all exceptional. The nominations are... Short Fall Aim High Do I think I'm faster than here? Cardboard box adventures. Oh, it's on. Check. All systems on. Check. Five, four, three, two, one. Number. 
share a story. Suddenly, I saw a pair of pink pants in the sky. Who do they belong to? Just then, we saw my best friend Maya dashing down the street. Help! My pants are possessed! Quickly, I knew what to do. My belt would make an awesome lasso. What's the big idea? What is art? Art is paintings, Hugo. And drawings. And photographs. And the BAFTA goes to share a story. Wow. Um, thank you, BAFTA, for this uh, amazing award. Um, I'm so, so proud of the uh, CERTV production team that pull off Share Story every year. Uh, a special thanks uh, to all the animators that we work with, uh, not just uh, Carl and his, uh, the he House team, uh, but all the guys at uh, Bottle Top, Carrot Shop, uh, Second Home Studios, and the brilliant Brothers McLeod. Um, but the biggest thanks has to go to the kids. I mean, you saw that story there. I mean, how they come up with these things, uh, possessed pants. Um, but the biggest thanks has to go to the kids who really give them some of the best stories uh, to work with. So uh, thank you so much. This is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. OK, moving on now to present the international award. We have somebody who knows all about winning against international competition. You're about to meet a sprinter who took gold at last summer's awe-inspiring Paralympic Games. He was part of that incredible sporting summer. I think we'd all agree in this room, it's a summer that we will never forget, full of memories, gold medals by the bucketful and champions being discovered. Please welcome to the stage a man who deserves your attention, Paralympian Johnny Peacock. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. OK. There shows that transcend borders and amuse children the whole world over. Let's have a closer look at the nominees. International. Adventure look, time. Lady, we can't help you get princess hair. Why not? Because we only help when someone's in danger. Oh, wow. Well. Why didn't you say so? <clears throat> hey, um, what's that? Hey! There, now someone's in danger. Sure Doc can. McStuffins. Well then, check up away and, um, take your time. Time for your checkup, time for your checkup. I'm gonna check your ears, check your eyes, find out how much you've grown. Time for your checkup. I'm gonna listen to your heart. Kung Fu Panda, Legends of Awesomeness. Well done, Peng. Now give us the medallion so we can lock it up. But the fire inside, it's so beautiful. I can feel its power. <laughs> Easy, pal. That thing's dangerous. Now hand it over. No! Regular show. Limousine lunchtime. Yeah, now we're talking. Meatball sub! Meatball sub! Some aw awesome nominations there. And the BAFTA goes to... Adventure Time, Pendleton Ward, Larry Lightfooter, and Kelly Cruz. Good.
gosh. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Adventure Time has been such an amazing global success, and it's really lovely it resonates over here. So it's very nice to accept this for the US uh, Cartoon Network studio that's really producing some first-class animation at the moment. So thank you. Thank you. And Johnny was just telling me there, he's in the gym 8 o'clock in the morning. That makes one person in this room that's doing that tomorrow. Right, next up, the award for writer. Now, to present this award, you're going to love this. An actor, a producer, a director whose role as the Fonz in the US sitcom. <laughs> I know. That's how I feel on the inside. I'm just trying to get through the words. <sighs> Please welcome a man who, in happy days, used that role to make himself one of the most recognised actors in the world, loved by all ages. Since then, he's appeared in countless TV programmes and films. More recently, though, he's actually become a popular children's author, and his novels of Hank Zipper, the world's greatest underachiever, inspired by his own struggles as a child with dyslexia, will shortly become a brand new CBBC series. I shall be watching that. As well as that, yeah, indeed, his work at uh, raising awareness of children with special educational needs and dyslexia in the UK earned him an honorary OBE. Yeah. I think even the Fonz would think that's quite cool. And ladies and gentlemen, hey, it's Henry Winkler. I am so glad I left my home. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I'm very, very honored to be here tonight. The fact is, each and every one of you is important because the, the future of your country, of my country, of the world, rests in very little hands. <laughs> and the idea that this award for the writers, if, if it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. Without the writer, there is nothing to direct, there is nothing to create, there is nothing to act for, there is nothing to direct. And so here are the nominees for the best of writing. Writer. Writing team for the amazing world of Gumball. Wait a minute. We don't need the remote. We can change the channel on the TV. <gasps> you mean get up from the sofa and change it manually? Like they did in ancient times when people weren't lazy? That sounds a little extreme, man. Debbie Moon for Wolf Blood. So where's Bridget? If you see one. Nick Leather for stepping up. How's it going? Worse than ever. What are you doing? It's my cool walk. Can't be cool without a cool walk. Come on. Get off there. Hey, off. Sam Morrison, sure Neville Astley, Mark uh, Baker for Peppa Pig. Mr. Bull. How are you going to mend the hole? We'll dig up the road! Mr. Bull is digging up the road. <laughs> Mr. Bull likes digging up the road. Everybody likes digging up the road. <laughs> All right. And the winner goes to the, uh, the, the BAFTA goes to the writing team of the amazing world of Gumball.
I say, this is all Henry Winkler. This is all my dreams come true at once. The Fawns! <laughs> Um, I, it, it's a great honour to, um, very humbling to receive this award three years in a row and uh, we'd like to say thank you very much to BAFTA, um, to Cartoon Network, to the whole team and to the Fonz man, <laughs> as well as all our lovers and partners at home. Thank you all, thank you for having us, thank you. Thank you. Amazing, the Fonz is here. And there's also a broken hand dryer in the gents. I'm going to watch him do that later. Now then, to present the BAFTA for game, please welcome the star of CBBC's Leonardo and also hit crime drama of the year, Broadchurch, where he played a budding journalist learning the trade. You know, things like cultivating your sources, investigative journalism, if that doesn't work, hacking the phones. This guy has just finished starring in Othello at the National Theatre. Next week, he opens the stage musical version of American Psycho at the Almeida Theatre. Please welcome to the stage the supremely talented Jonathan Bailey. Good evening. Please don't ask me to sing. Um, I'm thrilled to be here to present the BAFTA for Best Game, mostly because it's given me an excuse to play them all endlessly. Uh, let's have a look at the nominations. Game. Animal Crossing New Leaf. You can live life however you want. You can do as much or as little as you like. As the world around you changes and time passes by, use your imagination to create your perfect town. Lego City Here, Undercover. Rex Fury has escaped and is at large in Lego City. Skylanders Giants. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 2. Luigi's back. Back in trouble, that is. Hello. And these mansions appear empty, but are they? <laughs> And the BAFTA is awarded to Skylanders Giants. Um, so, firstly, we'd like to thank uh, BAFTA for recognising us for the second year running in this category. It's a great honour to be here with so many inspirational people. Um, we'd like to thank Toys for Bob, who uh, created um, and made Skylanders um, from the innovative game it was last year and kept it going through what we call its uh, difficult second album. Um, I'd like to thank the, the Activision team, two of whom you may have uh, mistaken for my bodyguards who are here on the stage with me. Um, and then finally, most importantly, we'd like to thank the, uh, the kids and the adults around the world who have made Skylanders what it is today. Thank you. Wonderful. Shall we find out who people believe to be the best presenter in children's television at the moment, yeah? OK, good. Because to present the award for presenter, we have a presenter. This is not just thrown together, believe me. This young lady is also a classically trained pianist and violinist and comes from the same town as my wife. Oh, what could have been? Please welcome the multi-talented Myling Class. <laughs> Good evening. 
morning, I have to say, my two children are going to be made up that I've shared a room tonight with Mr. Tumball. We love you. Right, on to the awards. This award is for presenters that children and parents want to invite into their living room again and again. They have the special skill of drawing an audience and keeping them enthralled. The nominees for presenter are Barney Harwood for Blue Peter. Chris Jarvis for Show Me, Show Me. Justin Fletcher for Something Special. And those rogues, Sam Nixon and Mark Rhodes for Sam and Mark's Big Friday Wind Up. So, let's see them in action, shall we? Presenter Barney Harwood for Blue Peter. All this is bringing memories back of my dear granddad. I sat in so many planes. He worked for British Aerospace, and so I sat with him in so many planes. And yep. it was always his ambition to go up in a plane as well. I, I wish he could have seen what I've just done. Now, next time you get to do that, it'll be in front of 100,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean I've passed? You've passed. <laughs> Chris Jarvis for Show Me, Show Me. I woke up this morning and I fancied a big red juicy tomato. Oh, and did you enjoy your big red juicy tomato? No, I dropped it. It went bump, bump, bump out of the kitchen, bump, bump, bump through the palace gardens and bump, bump, bump. Well Just done, Josh! For something special. He's brilliant. He's also very brave. Well done, Josh. What's that, Josh? The to go! OK. Are you ready? Feet up. Here I go! Fire! Sam Nixon and Mark Rhodes for Sam and Mark's Big Friday wind-up. Kind of a big deal. I've heard they write their own stuff. You can tell. Everybody knows us. We think they're great, you know, their cheeky smiles and the Geordie accents. <laughs> now, mate, that's, that's, uh, that's Ant and Deck. 100% prime time salmon mark. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you how happy I am to give this award because they've recently become my TV husbands. The BAFTA goes to Sam and Mark! <laughs> Um, I can't hold it off. Wow. This, this is... Wow. Um, oh, thank you so, yes. so much. You have First no of all... idea how proud you are. <laughs> um, um, feel it, feel it, feel it. Uh, I suppose, first of all, uh, thank you to Justin for letting someone else have a go. Um, <laughs> cheers, mate. Um, no, seriously, thanks, Chris and Barney as well. Amazing, you know, to be up against you and that. And, you know, we genuinely didn't think we would thank win this. Thank um, so much. So many people to thank you, so I apologise if we forget uh, a Big Friday wind-up. We, we love doing that show, f you know, and thank you to Ed Thomas and Jamie Ree for initially, initially actually Sorry. developing the idea. Sorry. They're not only here tonight, so that doesn't mean anything, but they initially, you know, they developed it for us. You all right, mate? Yeah. All right, be cooler. Sorry. Be cooler. <laughs> we, like, seriously, ten years ago, we were really average singers. And now we're very average presenters. And now we're very average presenters. <laughs> and we're getting this. It's the most amazing it thing is. that you, uh, you have no idea how proud we are. Seriously, be cooler, be Sorry. cooler. <laughs> uh, no, OK, OK, a big thank you to, uh, first of all, Damien Kavanagh for uh, commissioning yeah. Wind Up. <laughs> 
for commissioning Wind Up in the first place. Uh, Cheryl Taylor for recommissioning. Thank you so much. Uh, Joe and Helen, thank you so much. Uh, Dave Beardsell, yes. Tony, thank you so much for uh, being amazing. Series three is even better. So thank you so much. Um, what can I say? I it. feel like I'm going to miss somebody out. Uh, uh, wicked. This is awesome. Uh, we're, we're genuinely we're celebrating our 10th anniversary next month, me and Mark. What are you getting so me? To win this, I'm getting you that. You yeah! <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Bafta. Thank you, Bafta. Really well done. Yeah.